The Engineering Design Show is actually three shows in one and electronics is a huge part of that now. I'm joined with Neil who's the editor um, of New Electronics now. Tell us a little bit about the conference and being involved in that today. Oh, well, the conference is something that we really put a lot of emphasis on in terms of who we try to attract. So what we do with the conference is that we pull together a whole variety of cutting edge technologies and innovators to present to interested parties in that sense. So we're looking at robotics, we're looking at thermal management, we're looking at PCB board design. Um, so the, the range of topics that we cover over the next two days is pretty comprehensive and pretty broad. Now, robotics and AI is something that I am quite fascinated in. Everybody so is. Everybody is. But I think it's a, something that's it's, it's newish, isn't it? It's something that we're still looking forward to. Um, so what are going to be uh, the big topics around that this year? Well, in terms of what we're doing at the show, the show is quite broad in terms of what we're looking to try and cover. So AI will be part of the show, as will robotics. Especially in the conference area, we've got a small robot company who are specialising in agricultural robots, which could absolutely revolutionise the way in which agriculture and farming is carried out. So on the, on the floor here, uh, the mix of companies cover all sorts of areas, so AI will be an element of that, robotics will be part and parcel of that. But again, as I said, it's very broad, we'll cover things from enclosures to connectors to power management. So for a design engineer coming to the show, it's a chance to get a very broad feel for what's happening in the industry at the moment. And in terms of the technologies that are overarching and that we're looking for over the next two days to address and talk about, AI will be a, a, certainly a part of that. But you're also looking at, as I said, robotics, you're looking at the digitalization of an awful lot of what's going on in the world at the moment. Um, electronics is going into all sorts of uh, end products, from consumer products to industrial products to the traditional aerospace area that we, we cover. So the range of industries and topics that we cover are quite broad. Now don't worry, we will be talking about Tom, Dick and Harry, which are those robots that um, Neil was talking about a little bit later on um, at the conference. Now, um, what is it about this show, do you think, um, that has made it span over seven years, that's made it so attractive for people to come to? I, I think it's really, it's a really good size. Um, I think if you went to a much bigger exhibition hall, it might get a little bit lost in that, but we've kind of pitched it at the right level. We're at about 200, 220 exhibitors at the moment, and I think we're still looking to, to grow. But as I said, we cover such a broad range of uh, companies, suppliers and businesses who are addressing the needs of design engineers. And I think to have them all in one place, especially in the UK, is quite novel and quite unique. And it does give an opportunity for design engineers to come in and engage across every aspect of the design process. So if those guys are looking to prototype a design, there are companies here they can talk to who will help them in the prototyping stage. But not only that, there are companies here who specialize in IP. Crucial if you're looking to develop any kind of product going forward. We can also then talk to manufacturers who will then take that, that IP, will take that prototype and take, take you hand, hand in hand, if I can put it like that, through to the manufacturing uh, phase. So really across the board and if you're looking to do anything within the electronic space, come to the design show and I think it's proved its worth when you get sort of 4,000 design engineers coming through our doors over two days. I think it's proved itself as a, a really good platform, an opportunity for people to discuss problems, to talk through their issues, their main concerns to them. Well thank you very much Neil for your time um, and get yourself back to that conference room. <laughs> Thanks very much, it was great talking to you.